Hi, this is Erin Hodson, Extension Entomologist at Iowa State University. Today, I'm going to talk about using a sweep net in soybean. When developing a sampling plan, you should consider the following. What is your target insect, and will sweep netting be the best technique? Think about differences for collecting a certain life stage, plant growth stage, or time of day to get accurate counts. Also, spend some time determining the sampling unit. Taking more samples will result in a more accurate estimation of density, but time is often the limiting factor. So in most cases, a sampling unit is predetermined by the sampler. Lastly, choose a spatial pattern for your sample before you enter the field. Try to cover the entire field with the time you have. Here are some examples of common walking paths in soybean, including a W, Z, or zero to ensure coverage of the field. Sweep nets are a popular sampling technique because they can collect many types of insects. There are several kinds of nets available, but cloth or canvas nets are most appropriate for soybean because they are sturdy enough to knock down insects in dense foliage. There are several advantages to using a sweep net in soybean, including a short learning curve where most people can feel comfortable with the technique in less than an hour. They are relatively inexpensive and long-lasting product and a minimal sampling time compared to other techniques like sticky cards. There are some disadvantages to sweeping, such as human variability. Changes in walking speed, sweep angle, and sweep force can change from day to day and person to person. Also, sweep nets are not suitable for all target insects. Here are some sweep netting guidelines. Remember, one sweep is equal to moving it across two soybean rows in a 30 inch spacing. You may want to consider sweeping along three linear feet as shown here if you are sampling narrow space rows. Try to sweep into the top half or third of the soybean canopy to dislodge insects. My general rule of thumb is that you want to have a few leaves in the net after you are done sweeping. No leaves may indicate you aren't sweeping low or hard enough. However, finding soil in your net may mean you are sweeping too hard. Make sure to keep walking forward, covering two and a half to three feet per step. The opening of the net should change angle with each step so insects can fall inside. Take one final sweep in the air to help push insects to the bottom of the net. You have several counting options, including just looking into the net or pushing the contents into a pan, bucket, or plastic bag, as shown here. To determine density, count the number of target insects from the sweeps and divide by the number of sweeps. I hope this helped get you started with sweep netting and soybean. Best of luck out there.